Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm um, going to have a little mini series on um, jewelry and beading and um, at all of the basics. If you're interested, please keep on watching. So these are all my tools I've accumulated over like five years. Um, before I get started real quick, I'm going to show you guys, these are really good quality, uh, tools, um, and they don't nick your, um, jewelry or your, your metal the way that, um, for example, these would. These are the ones from Michaels. They're great for beginners, but, um, when you're doing... When you start working with jewelry more, when you start working with beads and charms and all that, it helps um, to buy a a newer set um, that has um, that are, that is a little better in quality. So I'm just gonna show you how to use some of these tools and what I have here. So. Let me just separate them by um, the different types of tools. Okay. I think I don't have enough, right? These are called rosary plies. Um, you can use these when you're making rosaries because you can also cut the wire with the same pliers. So, so I have, let's say I have this right here, right? And I just need to cut it. I can just um, use the center and cut it off. Really easy. I don't have to go get my side cutters to cut them. I can just use the same set of pliers. Okay. I'm not sure if I showed you these. These are pointy tip pliers. And these are more of a um, flat tip. And in my opinion, when I use these, I like to use these to completely flatten the jump ring. So when I'm holding it with another set of pliers, I feel like it has better, um, it does a better job because it's, it's covering more of the jump ring. But you don't need them. Okay, so um, these are round nose pliers. Um, the only thing I'm going to show you with these is the difference in size. Um, some are longer than others. This one's a little thicker than this one. This one's a little shorter. These are my favorite, the longest ones, because I like to make loops that are small, especially when you're making rosaries. So in my opinion, these are the best, but any of them work. These are the curved um, nose pliers, so kind of like these, but they're curved. It just kind of helps you have a better grip on your um, jump rings, in my opinion. Detailing scissors. I think you should always have a pair of detailing scissors because when you're making bracelets, out of elastic it can get as close as possible to the cut for your bracelets or necklaces or whatever you make so these are perfect for that the side cutters these are flush side cutters and these are just the regular ones so that, um, that's what I was talking about with the rosary pliers you wouldn't need to use this because you got the other ones the difference between these two is just that these are supposed to get close up enough to cut a little bit more to make it flush this is does the same job it's just that this one is with more detail than this one and um, i've sharpened these pliers before um just using the knife um sharpening uh, tool, I forgot what it's called, where you're sharpening your knives for the kitchen. 
You can use the same one to sharpen these little things until they're just no good to use anymore. These next ones, I forgot what they're called. I'll just put it on the screen. Um, it's good for straightening wire. So, like, when you're working with a piece of wire, you just use this to straighten it out. And it oh, did a really great job, actually. So that's what that's for, to straighten your wire. Um, these are side crimp. For crimp beads, I also have a pair of those in red in my shop. Um, and you, it just, when you're working with wire, like a tiger tail wire, or, um, and you wanna just, you need to use a crimp bead to um, secure the wire in place. So, you know how you see these little bent? Just use your tool for straightening wire. And then the crimp bit is super small, but this is it here. And you just use to, I, I've never really paid a lot of attention on how to exactly use it. I'm gonna see if I find a video, but you just kind of, kind of stick it there, and it, like, and then it um it should keep your wire in place. This is not the best example, but I'll link a video on how exactly to use this tool. That way, um, you can reference it. These are my uh, split nose pliers. I also have these in store. Um. So, split the split rings are keep your jewelry or bead charms or how whatever you're making more secure. And um, so that's what they're for. So I just take this part and I'm just going to um, put it in the middle of the two wires. You can see that and it opens it um, I don't know if you can see that but it opens the wire enough for me to like put put it into like the chain or into a charm and you would just um, kind of roll it all the way around until you get it on to whatever item you're using it for. So that's what these are for. These are split nose pliers. And I'll talk to you about glues. I like, my favorite glue is the E6000. It's actually in the mail on the way here. I don't have any, but super glue works just as well when you're um, needing to glue your elastics I have clear elastic too I just don't have it on the table with me um it works and it's only a dollar you can get these at the Dollar Tree um but I like to use E6000 so I hope you found this helpful if you have any questions um just leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to help you with anything I can um, and I'm going to have more episodes coming. Thank you so much for watching.